Hi everybody, welcome to Taste to Explore. My name is Darlene and on today's episode I'm going to bring to you another terrific, delicious, but simple and easy dish. We are making mangu. This is a Dominican dish and, and let me remind you that every household makes a difference. So I'm going to give you my style of it, okay? So stick around as I walk you over to the basic ingredients to get started. Four green platanos. We have salt and pepper to taste. We have some butter. This is for this part. Very simple and some water that is getting hot and boiling up for us. Then over here, I'm going to have an onion garnish. It's like a onion and um, vinegary um, garnish that goes perfect with this. And here I have one large uh, red onion cut into slices and then I have some salt and pepper and fresh garlic to taste. I also will have some oil and vinegar set out that I didn't put on my table but when that time comes I will show you. Now let's cut the platanos. This dish is very easy to do. Um, it's is very versatile. You can eat this for lunch, you can eat this for dinner, and even for breakfast. And if you like, I can show you a Dominican breakfast. It's absolutely delicious. So right now I'm just gonna cut these down, remove all the skins, and then I'm gonna show you right back what next to do. Right now I'm gonna put some salt in my water and be generous with it because this is the only time that you're going to be using salt in this dish and that was about two teaspoons so you go about the way you would like your food to be salted so right now i'm going to put in the platanos some people leave the skins on and just slice down the middle and removing the two um, ends but you know you do what is easy for you and I'm just cutting it down in big chunks so this will feed roughly four people give or take it's very filling so this would be really 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 good if you never had it very easy to make this cook down until they're fork tender and that should be roughly 15 minutes or so so just keep an eye on it and I have it on medium high heat with no lid you can put a cover if you want but it's not necessary and we're just gonna wait until this is done and then I'm gonna show you what to do next so now let's get started in my onion garnish right here I have three and fourths cup of vegetable oil you can use any clear oil canola oil um corn oil or even um olive oil would be lovely in this as well and with that i'm not gonna let it get totally hot i want to put my onions in because my thing is i don't want it to get so much color but more so get tender and translucent and at the same time I'm going to put in our vinegar this is regular steel vinegar I use one fourth cup um, depending on how you like it you know some people like their foods very vinegary you can add more or less I think that's just fine for me I don't want it too strong in that vinegar flavor. I just want it to have a balance. And then I'm going to put in my salt and pepper to taste with a half a teaspoon of coriander. This is my take on it. Like I said, guys, every house, Hispanic household does it differently Just stir it up and 
and then for extra flavor of my choice once again I'm going to put some grated fresh garlic you can totally leave this out or you can put some garlic powder if you don't have fresh garlic I just add for an extra flavor extra kick I love garlic in my foods and this is just you know my preference totally my style I'm not trying to say it is the way uh, a Dominican will use but it certainly won't hurt okay then this is gonna cook down for 15 minutes or so this is a medium high I just want the onions to get soft and translucent and this is gonna be oops, this is gonna be our sauce for our mango so I'll see you right back hi guys welcome back well it's all done and now it's ready to get taken out so there are pork tender very soft very soft and that's what you want so I'm just gonna take them out of the hot water but we're gonna reserve the hot water because we're gonna need it it's going to help the process of making this nice and smooth moving some of the little skins of the of the banana so move it to the side and then we will start I took out most of them and it's okay if a little bit stays behind because now we're gonna start in mashing them but I want to start with my butter I have three tablespoons of unsalted butter you can use salted butter if you like just be careful and minimize the salt intake that you put in the water and now we're just going to use a fork a potato masher whichever that you like to do and just mash them up put about a tablespoon at a time of the salted starchy water that came from the bananas um you really can't substitute this water i tried it with regular tap water heat it up and it's not the same it must be the same water that you use in my experience i'm doing this so here we go it's looking fabulous i must have used like four to five tablespoons of the reserved starchy water all right so now I'm just gonna put in a little bit of black pepper okay just gonna put it to taste and just continue mixing it in you make it the consistency that you want so right now this looks great for me it's not it's has a little chunks in it i like it so, taste test time and i'm just going to take a little bit of this and a little bit of the onion oh mind you i cooked this for 10 minutes i know i said 15 but be careful on that you just want it to um, be soft and still have some of its texture you know what i mean but here we go Mm, mm, mm. so creamy and of the vinegar with the oil and some of the spices absolutely delicious so don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you want me to make a dominican style breakfast absolutely delicious leave me a comment below and i will certainly bring that to you so until next time my friends take care bye bye